Here's a very simple little video on a flywheel puller. This is the, uh, these are both flywheel, this is small frame, and this is a uh, regular. Do you see how this one has a, a short thread and then a block right here, a flat block? Try to get the ones that are just fully threaded like that all the way to the back. See it? And this one has like a stop to it. Avoid these if you can. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you just can't find it. But if you can find it, try to find these because these go deeper into the thread. See, they go all the way in there, you know? All the way to the base. You know what I'm saying? So you, there's less chance of you destroying your threads ever. And sometimes these things can get really stuck in there, you know? Sometimes people put them in with an air gun at 120 pounds of pressure or something. And it's, it's almost impossible to get them off, the, 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 fly, the flywheel off, you know? They're just jammed in there, man. There are a few that I just couldn't pull. You know, but these with these, there's a much greater chance of you getting them out. With one with a full thread like that. With the ones with the shorter thread, there are times where you can just rip the thread out, you know? If, if, if somebody did something like that, like really overcrank these. Okay? Just a little advice save you try to save some headaches um and you know just that that's basically the video i'll talk a little bit more now maybe uh just for people who don't know as much maybe this 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 is to this part is to stop the uh the flywheel from spinning and it just bolts right here onto the side of the case and it holds this from spinning this little piece here and this part holds on the on the case. You see, it's very simple. And it just keeps this from spinning as you're pulling, as you're spinning this, as you're spinning the puller, that it won't it won't spin on you. Okay. Now sometimes uh, f these 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 the the flywheel fins will have like an extra piece of metal, like that that's that's a part of the fin. You'll see like a little round piece to add extra strength to one of them. This one doesn't have it. But some do. The ones that do use that fin, at the one that's supported for as the part that goes up against the ear holder. Okay? Just a little extra safety. Um, what else? Um, that's about it. Because I've had issues with pulling them out with the with the ones with the short threads and um i didn't even know these existed till much later when i was working on bikes really so and um that's about about it for that tool but you know there's a few other tips like like the uh like the um clutch basket puller uh capsule nut uh remover see this capsule nut remover when these start getting a little round you're gonna have problems from use so what you can do is you get a, a piece of sandpaper and put it on a piece of wood and just rub a little bit off till you get a sharp edge on them again once you go too deep though they won't work that well anymore so you need it's good to have a couple of them you know sometimes I break a tooth off of these too so it's, it's a good idea to have a few of them um, Also change the castle nut once in a while. Really look at the castle nut. Change them once in a while from from the flywheel, from the uh, from the the basket, the the clutch basket side, which is the other side of this. Also, there's another thing. If you, if you when you start hopping up these bikes, add a few extra pounds to the torque. Like th th these are usually around 45 or so. You know, some are less. You know, you have to look it up, but. If it's like 45, and if you're if you're starting to hop these up and you're doubling the power, you want to go like five pounds higher on this side, and on the castle nut side, which is on the on the other side, on the on the uh, clutch basket side. Just because I've, I've I've when you start hopping them up, you're doubling the power sometimes of these motors, and it'll just it'll just cut the key, you know. And uh. Let me see. I, this is loose. Maybe I'll if I, maybe I'll pull it off here. There you go. All right. I'll pull it off. There it is. Another trick is, you know, 
see the, see the key here? Turn, turn the engine till the key is upward. See that key? I don't know if you can see it. There's a key there. So it doesn't fall out when you're, when you're putting it on. And also, the front end of the key, push it down a little bit so it's kind of facing down. So when you slide it in, it doesn't catch. And as it goes in, it'll pull itself straight. Just push that little front end a little bit down, the front end of the key right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a key in here. Let me see if I can see it. There it is. See that key? See how I can move it a little bit? You just move that, that tip down a little bit so that it doesn't catch as you slide it in. And keep it upward, straight up. So, and that way you can also see the cut on here. See that cut? There's a cut on there. You can see the cut. And you can line it up a lot easier. Just simple little tips from, from doing this. You know, I, I, I have a, a bunch of little little specialty tools I keep in a bag here for Vespa. And there's a bunch, of, there's more, but, you know, I, I separate them according to where and how much I use them, you know. All right, guys. Well, that's it for that. And you usually get in here to work on the uh, timing you know, you, you, you turn it right to back up the timing. See this to the right. And to, to advance the time, to advance the timing, you go to the left. But when you, when, basically when you're hopping up these bikes, like you're adding a uh, higher compression, you're adding, uh, you're adding, uh, ex um, expansion pipes or uh, other such things you usually back up the timing on a two-stroke especially when you raise the compression you start doing cylinder heads and expansion pipes because what the 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 the, uh, the combustion's a lot quicker and, and you have to back up the timing so that it's more towards the top of the stroke rather than earlier so you get all the power um all right, guys, that's about it. Just a little video. The main, the main point was really this. This, this has saved my. This has made it a lot. This, this makes it a lot safer and easier. Just getting a full thread. If you can get one, get one. Sometimes you can't find them. All, the one you exactly want. But uh, you know. All right. Take care. Bye.